Could you tell us something of the work you've done on the F-35 and what a test pilot actually does in a fifth generation aircraft? Certainly. Uh, it, it, our test pilot world is a, is a very exciting world and being part of a developmental program like the F-35 is very exciting. We have test pilots both at Edwards Air Force Base and Patuxent River working daily on the airplane, expanding the envelope for the airplane, expanding the capability of the weapons that we carry on the airplane, and testing out our mission systems avionics capability of the airplane to be able to provide to the warfighter uh, the, the best aircraft possible and what they, the services and the countries really want. I understand you've, um, you've flown two fifth generation aircraft, the Raptor and the F-35. Could you say something about the two of them, please? Certainly. I've been, I've been very fortunate over the past nearly two decades to have been part of now two developmental programs for both of our fifth generation air, aircraft, the F-22 and the F-35. And uh, as we talk about fifth generation, it's important to realize there are some very unique characteristics specific to fifth generation aircraft, such as the stealth capabilities of the airplane. Both airplanes are very similar in what the stealth ability that they bring to the table. And then with fifth generation, we really talk about sensor fusion, the marriage of all our sensors and the integration of all our sensors working together on the platform and then presenting a picture to the pilot in a very unique way that makes the information that we gather very easy for a pilot to use, giving us what we call situational awareness of our battle space around us. So the fifth generation airplanes, that, that's, a un, that's a common thread between the airplanes that we tie stealth and that ability together. We also give the capability of working together in a in a network ability. The F-22 talks to other F-22s, the F-35 talks to other F-35s and other airplanes in the sense that we, we get information and pass information uh, to either our wingmen, other people in the sky, or even commanders on the ground. So when we combine all that, it gives us in fifth generation a quantum leap in capability above all other aircraft. Does the F-22 talk to the F-35? The, the, uh, the F-22 and the F-35 have the ability to obviously communicate uh, through voice and I think there are, are um, upgrades in place to start working on communication between the aircraft. And how much of your work is in a simulator now? As a test pilot, uh, most of what we do is upfront. In other words, help with the design of the airplane from the outset work with the engineers, especially in simulators, to get the aircraft right from the get-go. And taking and doing most of our testing within the simulator to then go and verify, if we will, in the air what we've designed and tested in the simulator. Now, some things we can't always do in the simulator, for instance, some of our high angle of attack work, we're not sure how the airplane's uh, uh, going to fly exactly when we do it, so we have to go to some of the edges of the envelope to one, verify, and two, check that everything's accurate. But we fold that information back into the simulator to make the simulators better, so it's a continuous upgrading loop, and that's what flight test is all about nowadays. I think a lot of people have a misconception of what a test pilot actually does. What sort of day do you have, or a normal test pilot day? Well, in general, test pilots uh, nowadays, especially on programs like this, we're, we're titled experimental test pilots. We're also titled engineering test pilots. So we're as big a part of the engineering team, design and development team, as everyone else. And we'll start a typical day, say in our flying squadrons, of coming in early, working with the engineers, getting set up for our briefings to plan and design the mission that we're going to do to get the exact test points and areas where we need to go fly, set everything up, work with our control room of a multitude of people that will be with us, and to the point that we even consider the people in the control room flying in the cockpit with us. It's one big team when we talk about flight tests. Go out and execute our flight tests for several hours, come back, talk about what we did, and start the analysis of all the data that we've gathered. So it's a, it's a day-long process, if you will, to just execute one of our flight tests, but that's the way that we keep the ball rolling and keep moving down the field when we talk about modern-day flight tests and development of new aircraft. Thank you very much indeed.